Oh, those sparkle lights are out of control. Can't help myself, it's all about the art. Sometimes I like to shake it up and be wild. I guess it's the Gemini in me. Here I am in quarantine. This is the first time in my lifetime I've seen anything just so out of the box happen. It's not that I didn't know something would eventually happen, but I just never dreamed it would manifest in this way. Uh, let's see, how many days has it been? Uh, actually, it's been more than a few days, I'll tell you that. It's been probably a couple of weeks. Uh, I'll, I'll go back and research and figure out how long. But when you're in a situation like this, such as this, this, this quarantine, this COVID-19 quarantine, and when it's with not just your block or your street or your job or your neighborhood, but when it's the whole world, that is kind of a lot to like swallow. And as I go through this experience, now I'm good because uh, for those of you who do know, I, I'm a visual artist and I work at a place uh, called Painting with a Twist and also I do my own art and creativity and have always done that in one form or another. I was luckier than most, luckier than a lot of people and the town where I live in, which is Detroit, Michigan. For the simple fact that I had the opportunity to save a little bag before the thing went down. So where people don't have food and they don't know how they're gonna get to the next day and they got kids to feed and all this really serious stuff going on, I'm kinda just chilling, <laughs> taking it easy, Enjoying not having to get up early unless I want to, which I do usually get up early, but uh, relatively early. But for me, the stress of going back and forth and all that stuff has actually made it possible for me to be able to reflect, meditate, dream, think and really you know put time into focusing on how I can move forward when this thing is over and I got some ideas about how it's gonna all be over but that's another video and another time so other than all the reflective thinking and contemplating your very soul and spirit spirit I've also had the opportunity to, I've also had the opportunity to do something that I've wanted to do for a long time. Doing daily vlogs, doing like, you know, like a simple, a simple type of a, a thing that I could put online that's just really me. Cause like I'll, I'll do music videos or I'll do some kind of little art thing or this or that, but I never really come me, just like real me. Dianas, the regular girl and I'm kind of a loner right? I do things on my own and I just thought it would be if, if there was ever a time to connect with the people that you love I mean and people that you care about people who touched your life in one way or another or you touch theirs this would be the time because we ain't going nowhere folks <laughs> we ain't going nowhere man I do have my little buddy right here I love him he's so cute and he's super soft look he's big I'm a child at heart I always have been and as an artist you tend to or at least I won't speak for everybody else I'll just speak for myself for me I've always been like a kid I don't mean an immature kid but I mean child at heart you know 
I'd be the one in the middle of the winter when snow's on the ground to jump outside and jump into the uh, jump into the snow and like you know lay down flat and start making a, <laughs> a snowman or, or a snow angel or the big pile of leaves are raked up and if nobody was looking and sometimes if people were looking I'd be the one to jump down in the leaves and just like you know have fun with that and that's cool I'm just gonna admit how old I am because you know they say lady never should have to reveal their age and all that stuff but I think something that will help make it more real is the fact that and hopefully we won't be in quarantine then but a couple months from now I'm going to have my 58th birthday Happy birthday! Now nobody ever guesses me to be the age I am I mean I've never had that experience you know I don't get carded anymore but there's been some times where people question. People usually peg me around 35, 30, mid to late 30s, maybe just at the beginning of approaching 40. But, like, I'm almost 60. <laughs> I, I've been a late bloomer. I, uh, I was painfully shy. Believe it or not, people don't think of me as a shy type of a person. I mean... I have a voice if there's something I, if I know what I'm talking about and I feel comfortable, I do have a voice. But there's been times when I didn't express myself when I should have, um, or just kept my true opinions to myself. And you know, as you get older, you just think, when am I ever ready to say what I got to say or say what I feel or have an opinion? See, that's been one of the beautiful things about this quarantine that we've been in is the chance to reflect. And I have, like many of you, been reflecting on my entire life. The thing that I've been all my life as an artist, from the very, very beginning, from as long as I can remember. and. I don't have any kids, I'm not married, so not that I wouldn't want marriage one day. As far as kids go, if it's somebody else's kids, that's cool, but personally, I don't miss that. It was never the thing that I wanted in life was to be a mom, but because I've spent at least 15 years teaching art, I have had thousands of kids that I can call my own. At the end of the day, I get to give them back, which is great, but I can love them as much as I want when they're there. Uh, so, because I've had these experiences and because I've had the time to reflect, I decided, I started thinking, what is it that I can give the world? What's my purpose? What is it that I want to to leave when I'm gone? What is it that I want to share that can bring value to people? And you know what? Our gifts are usually the thing we were born with. It's easier for us to do, but it seems like a big deal to anybody else. And my art is what I do. It's what I love. It's what I'm good at. It's what is it's joyful for me. It's passion for me. And so uh, I just want to give my art. You know, getting married one day, finding that special someone. It can happen. You're never too old. Maybe even finding somebody with some beautiful grown kids of their own. <laughs> I'm talking grown. Uh, we ain't trying to do no kids 18 and under, okay? Some beautiful mature man who's, you know, also young at heart and looks half his age, you know, that is done with the kid thing and just wants to have companionship, a friend, some that has their own interests. Anyway, that that's a whole nother thing. This isn't about me like putting the feelers out for some guy. This is about me actually giving the world 
what it is that I do. I mean, I can shoot video, I can write music, I can paint, I can draw, I can sculpt, I can like come up with beautiful visions for different things and I haven't always really shared those things with other people or done them for other people. You know, I'm sensitive about my art and uh, sometimes we hold on to things. Well, hell, it's time for letting go because what good is it going to do you? <laughs> you know, if you don't share it, what good is it going to do you? So, these next series of videos are going to be how I'm using my time during this sort of self-imposed isolation or world-imposed isolation because I don't want to keep my tongue anymore. I don't want to, I want to tell my stories. I want to put that stuff out there because it will bring value to somebody. It will matter to somebody. You know, I like my own company. I'm enjoying myself. But I've been touched by very many beautiful people out there in my life and you know, I just want to do the same thing back. So, um, throughout these videos, I'm going to share what I do. I'm going to take you guys through the portal of time every now and then, share some moments of frivolity, and just let my art and my gift be whatever it will be for, whoever, for whoever's looking, if they care to look. I want to inspire bring joy and laughter and I want to entertain and in the process what I want out of it is to have the opportunity to give to people and expand my consciousness in my own offbeat way so that part being Shall we head into the vortex? We're going to go through a portal back in time. Right now, I am like sitting on the floor and making a gigantic letter. which is one, a sample to show to my class because I want them to do some big uh, three-dimensional projects and also great big giant letters for me. Just got off the floor. Let's see if I can get some perspective. Turn around here and you can kind of see these how big these letters are. Let's check this out. Now if I can hold this camera back far enough so you can see. Now all my little sparkles, that's gonna be the latest addition to my video as well. So right now I've got my studio pretty much cramped up with everything. But uh, I'm standing a distance away. I've got all the letters of my name. Let me pull back up here. Just so you can see what the perspective on this is. I put my hand right on there. And you can kind of see that got a lot going on here there we go <sighs> can't help myself it's all about the art 
And in this new format, I'm really glad that I can share it with you guys because I spend more time at home doing art, creativity, than anything else. Uh, my videos make me look super exciting. But, you know, I like to chill with friends and, you know, be in nice, quiet places, listen to some cool music. Sometimes I like to shake it up and be wild. I guess it's the Gemini in me. Oh, those sparkle lights are out of control. I can give you the mini tour or more or less a sneak peek of my studio space. There's some paintings I did on the wall. Actually, all the artwork in here I did. You've seen bits and pieces in some other vi music videos that I've uh, created. Oh, there's the famous Jimmy. This is the one that inspired me to do the video with the wires in my hair. I've always loved that poster. An inspiration from like a, a music poster, a concert poster years ago. This is, my place is so cluttered right now. This is like a total sneak peek. I'm just letting you see a few highlights of things around here. Bits and pieces of art. Ah, uh, here on the wall we have my infamous mini meets. In fact, they're in a show in New York. A few more mini meets. That's the whole set. Old picture of myself there. Cute picture when I had my dog. Painting. A little comical self-portrait there. More art. Ah, you know it. You've seen this one in one of my music videos too. I like to call this Starry Night Over Detroit. Just a stylized rendition. Let's get into something else. Brand new day, and we have to prepare to paint. I have handouts for everybody. I'm just gonna put a few on the table. And just pass them around. Right here. If you have extra, just pass it to whoever's next. I'm about to show the aftermath of a class today. Well, that was fun. I enjoyed that. I haven't seen that stuff for a while. I mean, I started digging through all my old computers and seeing what was on there, and I'm like, wow, I did all this? I had all these moments. Yeah, my hair changed up a bit. <laughs> you know, I do my hairstyles and my changing up and my different makeup. And you know, some some things are shot over years. I've got years of stuff that have sat on, have uh, been sitting on computers that, you know, the computer gets so bogged down with so much information on it, so many files, so many videos, so many pictures that you get to a point where you. You know, your hard drive gets full and you just got to buy another computer and start all over again. And then some things don't get used right away, or some things do, and then the rest just sits on this computer. I got like four computers sitting around the house with like goo gobs of images and stuff on it. So we're about to have a fun, interesting ride. This is me in the present day. This is my hair and what I look like right now today. Uh, so at any given time, you may be looking at those videos and go, wow, what? <laughs> uh, at any rate, this is all me. This is the real Dionys. You know, some people call me Dionys the goddess. Some people call me Dionys multimedia artist. People when I was younger used to call me Dionis. 
I used to, I, I really didn't like it when they used to call me Dionis. It sounds like deodorant or something. But it was the name I grew to love. My mother gave me that name when she was, she said, when she was 15 years old, that's when she decided to give me that name. Now for what purpose she had for that, I can't even imagine what. She's gone now. She's no longer with us. Not in this world. But I'm so glad she gave me that name. And I don't want to lose that name. I want to... I want that name to mean something. And I want for all of my gods and goddesses out there. For when you think of me, you think of a smile or that piece of information or just to see another kindred spirit, another life that did it their own way, did it their own pace, did their own mistakes, <laughs> did, I mean, you know, I like to say this, do you, because I'm a damn show, do me. And that's one thing that I want to impart with this world. So, well, back to quarantining. You know, I might watch a little bit of TV, but I, I don't watch it too much because, I mean, they are wearing me out with all this negative this and negative that. I mean, really? Come on. I mean, can you really come up with every angle on this thing you can possibly come up with? Come on. There's more good things happening in this world than they're telling us on the news. And, like, I don't, I don't do cable, per se. I'm not saying I don't watch TV. I'm, I'm just saying when I went ahead and got with Comcast or uh, Xfinity and decided to get my, you know, my little internet hookup, I was like, no, I don't want a bundle. I don't want a bundle. I'm not interested in having your phone, your cable, because first of all, I already knew that there's really nothing good on TV. It's like every time I turn the channel, there's like, you know, shoot somebody, shoot somebody point blank in the head with a gun, a dead body laying on the floor, all kinds of scandal, all kinds of, you know, people yelling at each other, screaming at each other, crazy talk shows. I'm not saying that I don't partake. I got some guilty pleasures. Every now and then I enjoy watching a good little show or a little mystery or a little scandal. It's fun. But do that stuff with in moderation. Don't go crazy with that stuff. It just, it's like poisons your mind. If you should be doing anything, you should be like chilling at, oh, first of all, let me correct that. It, should is the wrong word. Nobody should, 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 this, that, or the other. You do what your heart is led to do. And in my humble opinion, I would just say that in the quest to being on, uh, in the quest uh, to being on the path to a greater version of yourself, I think a good way to spend this time is to get into the idea of thinking about your past, thinking about your future. What we do here in the present moment changes the past and the future. Find the goodness in you find the light in you and we're going to all be better for it. This, this world has got to be a new world. This world has got to be, this world needs to be what it deserves to be and what we deserve for it to be. You know, appreciating nature, appreciating friends, appreciating what we do have instead of putting our focus on what we don't have. I'm working on my music studio right now. I gotta get some software and just a couple little things. You know, I really have just about everything that I need. Probably the only thing missing is a friend to come over, a couple of friends to come over and we figure out some stuff. Because I've got things pretty much like 90% set up. I love this, I got it. I'm not a cat person per se. But I, I picked this little thing up at a secondhand shop. I thought it was so cute. It's just a big old giant pillow of a cute little kitten's face. So cute. I'm on a search for a sweet dog, too. Some of you know that I used to have my Tiffany. She was a little purebred Yorkshire Terrier. The, 
little baby. She was as tiny as like I could fit her in two hands, okay? Oh, she was so cute. I had her for 10 years. She finally passed away. And that was like around 2013. And then I was like, oh my God, I'm going to actually have to make friends with real people now. <laughs> I, mean, I swear to God. I actually had those thoughts in my head at the time. Like, wow, I've been so close to my dog. It's been me and my dog. I'm actually going to have to like, you know, be involved with people again. Which, I... Anyway, this video, I don't want to get too much longer because I got more videos to share, okay? I got plenty to share and I want it to be an unfoldment of me and if anybody out there is getting any value out, the, out of this and enjoying this even in the least, please subscribe, click the button. And then if you want to see more stuff that I have out there online, I, I've got uh, a couple more websites. And uh, I, I'll put the links below so you can find those. So please like, please describe, uh, subscribe, and, and please share. This is the beginning of a God is the Honest 2.0. Alright? Namaste and in a catch. This is Diana's the Goddess. It's about to be an adventure. A spiritual sojourn to Sedona, Arizona by way of Tempe, by way of Frontier Airlines, by way of the grace of God. When you're looking at the clouds from above, it's quite an interesting view. An episode of um, Twilight Zone comes to mind when William Shatner was sitting on the plane and it's raining and he looks out the window and there's this creature sitting on the wing. Then he goes, hey, look, 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 look. And when everybody looks, the creature just flies off the plane. He's the only one who sees the thing. It's really there, but he's the only one who sees it. Take my hand.